Hello everyone and welcome to our very first art class. My name is Mr. Ferrara. You can call me Aaron or Mr. Ferrara or <laughs> Yeah, you can call me whatever you want um, because this isn't a real art class. I'm not a real art instructor. I have no qualifications. Um, I'm actually just a struggling artist who loves to draw. So I'm a webcomic artist and um, I spend a lot of my time drawing on a tablet all day and uh, getting a couple comics out a week. Um, and so I don't really have a lot of time to traditionally draw anymore. And I thought that it'd be fun to share that experience and get some more experience drawing um, along with you guys. It always helps to have someone else in the room. Um, usually I'm just watching when I'm drawing. I'm usually watching reality TV or some dumb cartoon show in the background just to get my mind off of things and into the creative mode. But uh, today I don't have that. I have all of you guys in the background. So um, if I talk to you or sound weird talking or get off on a tangent, talk about something completely random that has nothing to do with anything, I apologize and it's just a fair warning. If you want to draw along, you totally can. I'll try my best to talk about what I'm drawing. But um, I thought this would be more of just a having fun kind of thing. So I wanted to start this first art class by drawing one of my favorite, favorite, favorite characters of all time, um, Link from Legend of Zelda. I always use him if I'm not using Kirby in Super Smash, um, but there's just something about that character that just gets me every time. I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, let's draw Link together. So I always start out using pencil. I don't know if it's gonna last me or not because it's on its last leg it looks like. You can tell how much I use it. <laughs> but I always start out using like a blue, um, it's called a non-photo pencil. And the reason it's a non-photo is because it always shows up when you draw it out. Um, I used to draw everything traditionally and I didn't have an iPad or anything, I just had a computer. So when you draw it and um, you go over it with the black lines with your ink, uh, the blue doesn't show up. When you take a picture, you can kind of render it out and delete all the blue lines. So it'll erase all of your pencil lines so that you don't have to um, have a drawing that has all those weird background images and stuff like that. So that's why this particular blue, it's called non-photo blue, is very popular with artists. It took me a lot of years to develop this particular style. I've been, um, I've been drawing for, Jesus, like 10, over 10 years now? No, it's gotta be longer than that, 15 years. Yeah, not counting like high school and things like that, but I've always loved, loved art for some reason. So my very first Zelda game was N64. And um, I remember I had to rent the game because <laughs> we didn't have a lot of money growing up. So I would rent the game from the video store and it wasn't even Blockbuster. It was like um, this generic video store that only let you, it didn't let you rent it for five days. We only could rent it for like two days or like even a day or something like that before we started getting late charges. So I had to cram every time we went to rent <laughs> a video game. I would have to rent that Zelda, um, the N64 Ocarina of Time, and I would have to play through as much as I could before we had to take it back, and I never got to the end of the game uh, because we didn't have, you know, I didn't, I didn't have enough money to buy the game. Um, so I just played it uh, as much as I could, when I could. Um, I eventually got it, you know, for Christmas, uh, and I just fell in love with the game. It was the music, it was the gameplay, it was the world, there was nothing like it then. And they really took some time on these storylines. It was never, it was something that hadn't been really done in video games that I'd seen anyway. And uh, Legend of Zelda really went there. They really had their own storylines going and they created these worlds. It was almost like reading a book, but in a video game sense. And that's what I really liked about it because I'm, I'm a storyteller myself and I really like, you know, doing comics and stuff like that. And so I think I really fell in love with the fact that there was actually a story and not just a, like a brrrr kind of shooting game or something like that. But uh, Zelda had everything. It had, you know, characters, it had distinct characters too, where you, you know, you knew who they were and it had awesome storylines. You gotta draw the elf ears. I also really liked the weapons that Link had. I don't know, for video games, they usually just stuck with a sword or a gun or something like generic like that. I remember they got really in depth with their kind of weapons and 
they didn't even just have weapons. They had certain things you had to collect. And um, in Legend of Zelda, it was a magical ocarina so we can summon things and transport and things like that. I thought that was super imaginative rather than just the random just sword and guns and everything like that. It's starting to look vaguely like Link. I feel like every time they come out with a new Zelda game, I just become obsessed and just disappear for a couple. It's just like, you know what it is? It's just like when a new Pokemon game comes out. I just, all of a sudden, I'll just disappear from the world and you won't hear from me for months, maybe years. <laughs> There's something about Legend of Zelda and Pokemon that just draws me in and I, I get into this hole where I can't escape. They know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. I used to be ashamed. I didn't play video games like crazy. I wasn't like addicted to where I dropped out. I, school or anything like that, but I remember playing a lot of video games, you know, in my teens and things like that. Um, and I still play whenever, you know, like a new game comes out and things like that. I don't ever get to play as much as I want to anymore, just because, you know, life and having a life, you kind of have to have one at a certain point. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I always felt kind of guilty for playing video games sometimes. It wasn't always like, you know, you got made fun of a lot of the time for playing video games all the time. The older I got, the more I realized that it really, video games really did help me uh, through a lot. And I know it sounds kind of weird um, to say that, but they really did. Uh, it helped me become the storyteller that I am today. It helped inspire me to do art and do a lot of other things like that and improve my stories. Um, because there really is a lot of thought that goes into some of these video games. Like you really have to come up with a storyline, a line character development, and a lot of other things you never think of. And they hire, you know, professional composers and things like that. And even uh, as they became more popular, um, I mean, even like games like Kingdom Hearts when they came out, which is the Disney one about, you know, with Sora and the Keyblades and everything, they even were hiring like pretty top tier actors to play the voices of them when it was over here. So, I mean, it has become uh, it was, it's kind of crazy to see the evolution of video games. The thing I really like about drawing with like a ballpoint pen or like an ink pen, whatever you want to call this pen, is it makes it very vivid. Like the lines, you can make them super, super dark and light, and it makes it almost look like a paintbrush. So this is why it's my favorite kind of pen to draw with. Um, and some people use like those brush pens, uh, and they look really, really cool when you do them well, but, um, you know, it's all about your technique and what kind of artist you are. And I think that suits a lot of artists a lot better because they have more of a flowy kind of painty kind of vibe with their art. And um, when I'm doing my drawing, it's more edge, edged out. I don't know how to explain it. It's just very, it's very sharp and edgy. So I think this kind of pen works a lot better for that. Um, but some people really prefer the painting ones just because they have more elegant brush strokes. I'm more of a kind of like crazy kind of like. <laughs> yeah, so he's starting to come together a little bit. Oh man, I totally have the Legend of Zelda song stuck in my head right now. And it's kind of killing me a little bit because sometimes I like to listen to the music while I'm drawing the character to get me into it a little bit more but I can't do that right now because then we'll drown out all we're talking about. But I'm, do you guys, you guys have it in your head too, don't you? Like if you know anything, if you know Zelda, you have that song in your head right now probably. You're probably doing, doo doo. I'm not gonna do it, but you're probably doing it in your head. I, I can hear it. <laughs> all right, I'm just finishing up. I might do a couple more touches um, just on the shading and stuff, but I think I'm happy with, uh, with how little Link came out. That's the, this is the little Link one, the one that's um, in Ocarina of Time, so. Okay, I think that's just about gonna do it for today's art class. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. That was, that was really fun. And uh, I hope we can do it again. Um, I'm sorry if it was kinda all over the place at certain times, um, but I promise if we do this again together, I will try to be a lot better and try to coordinate a lot more with the drawing and the talking and things like that. Um, but thank you so much for joining my art class, art, art class, and, uh, you know, maybe we could do this again sometime. Maybe you'll come back, or maybe I'll never see you again, and you won't come back. I hope they come back. Okay, I should probably go eat something, though, because I'm starving.
that took a lot out of me. I'm hungry. Well, have a great rest of the week, and um, hopefully I'll see you next time.